Not funny. Sorry. <laughs> Me laughing is not exactly helping the situation. No. I tried to be nice about it. I know. I know. <laughs> Mentioned an event we're super excited about, which is happening on March 21st. We have Rob Leeds coming yes, to Cascade yes. to music workshop, songwriting workshop, which is uh, he's a, a blues, jazz singer. He's so, the yeah. musicians from Montreal, yeah. He's, yeah. yeah, he's coming down for another activity with the Poly with the high school kids and doing music. So, when we got the funding for our project, it was such a great fit for him to stay a few extra days and doing a songwriting activity with our group so and it's a whole and everyone can come so yeah, yeah. 16 and up 16 and up yeah okay. 16 so and up exactly because you yeah because the people coming want to focus on writing a song and stuff so i guess yeah i think the coolest part about that is that he's encouraging people to bring their own instruments yeah, his instruments so they so can you know. don't know what you're gonna get right yeah it's yeah. good yeah, really turn into a really awesome jam session. Right? Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Super, super. Hi, I'm Angelina. I'm communications coordinator here at the GLC. Um, my job ba consists of, you know, uh, making sure our website is up to date, making sure our Facebook page is up to date. We also have a Pinterest and a YouTube account. So um, I keep those up as well. Um, I do a lot of grant applications, any writing that goes out, any newspaper articles or that side of thing. And I also do all of our graphic designs. So uh, our posters, our promotional tools, our yeah, infographics, whatever, whatever else. I mean, newsletters co coming in the future, we hope. Did you say that? Designing all our publicity. So all our activities have to be yeah, if she's got to. She does a bang up job. You got to get people interested, right? So mm -hmm. whatever we're doing, yeah, Angelina designs them all, and, and as you can hear, uh, we've evolved so much in the last year, or the last two years, because we never really had an office. We had a space, so now you can see we have an office, we have staff, and we're involved in many, many. Uh, venues out in happening in our community the words getting out with partnerships and partnerships is our main goal because of our uh, not a lot of funding the best way for us to work with many partners is is just having partnerships by support letters or getting books or helping them spread their word of what's happening with their stuff mm -hmm. so um, yeah so this has worked really well for us and then the school which the first time ever we had person working in the school so it, it's 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 good it's it's really evolving literacy is evolving in yeah, our community like so like that. literacy is evolving people <laughs> hey Georgia You're being very good sweetheart thank you Yeah, based on history, there it's history, right? Pertaining to different countries or cultures, I guess. Absolutely, so I'm just yeah. wondering if you think, just off the top of your head, like I can, I'm going to take a box. So, do you think I should just throw in whatever, or do you have any things that you might be interested in? Oh, I definitely take. A, I mean, are you thinking for the library here? Anywhere, like I'm going to bring a box back. Yeah, definitely. These, I know the school library, like, if they're, if they're giving away books, for sure. Yeah. The other thing, too, is in October, um, it's uh, in my history month. First Nation oh, okay. History. And so, they definitely can be used. We'll think of something to use. So I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll just do a best pick or whatever yeah. and see. Yeah, that's great. And yeah. if the language isn't too complicated, I know a lot of I mean, I, I know a lot of kids, you know, prefer reading non-fiction to yeah. fiction, so... Yeah, um, in, in the library of Yes Elementary, a lot of it's uh, non-fiction. Okay. And the majority of it's non-fiction, actually. We're looking to get some more fiction <laughs> in there. But, um, but I have one kid in particular who loves history. He, anything he can get his hands on, he, he, right now he's into First World War. Huh? And Second World War history, but uh, he might be really interested in these too. 
he's in grade six. So yeah, he's reading. He's reading different levels. It's funny because I I tutored a, a little like a twelve year old at one point, and. Yeah. Um, I was so excited because that was one of the things that we wanted to do was just work on his fluency in reading um, in English because he, he was in the Francophone school system. And I was so excited. And I was like, yes, Harry Potter. <laughs> and he was like, no, I want to read about World War II. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> well, there you go. There you yeah. go. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's funny. Like yeah, kids are all over the board, and I think whatever whatever they're interested in, that's what you get in their hands. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right.